Hi friends! Thought I would make a video showing you inside my desk organizer and also mostly the fountain pen ink collection. So I have this little thing in my desk. Well, next to my desk. It has a sample of a UV reactive ink. It has the sample I made of nitrogen that's like one-to-one -one with water. Some obviously not at all random things here. This I think is just powder for putting on sacks, ink sacks. Um, empty cartridges to refill, erasers, silicone grease, Two containers of that, three things of that. Sack shellac, that's fun to say. I have, this is a Lamy Z28 converter. This is a Gen Howe converter, which is standard international. Here's another. This is platinum, I think. Uh, whatchamacallit, this came with my Bennu, here's some more whatchamacallums over here, <laughs> syringes, even more whatchamacallums, ink cartridges, that's, your, that's what you would call them. They kind of look like they've lost some over the years. And these are all pencil leads. And that's the rain starting again. Lovely. Um, Cause I can't show, just do an ink collection video without my ink cartridges that I never use, right? I do sometimes use them to be fair. Okay, so we're gonna go in order of um, how many bottles I have of the inks. So let me reach behind me on this table, start grabbing. Oh my gosh, come here. I should note, this is the second time I filmed this. The first time I didn't show any swatches. And then I was like, I can't really do that, can I? And people were like, no, Marie, of course you can't. So here we are again. On our own. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> got really excited. So I have this. Papier Plume Dorchester Blue. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I got it for free with a pin. With my pin from Woodshed Pins. Um, I like it. It's fine. Certainly worth the price. Then we have, ooh, Scribo Notorno Viola. This, what a presentation. What a bottle. Delightful. Look at this. The box has a leather pull tab on it. Amazing. That's a gift experience if you want to give one. Oh, by the way, apologies. This probably is not, like, light accurate. Let's zoom in, though. Maybe that'll help. It's not going to help. Um, then we have Van Diemen's Royal Starfish. This from the Underwater Collection. Uh, this actually has the same type of bottle. I don't like it. The bottom of the sticker always comes up. This is the same bottle as um, used by Kiwi Inks. Which I think is kind of cool. Hopefully that was in frame, but I don't care that much. Um, Robert Oster. <laughs> Endless Pins Mysterium. I like this one. It's like a color. Makes me think of berries. Ferris Will Press, the Purple Jade Rabbit. 
This is a cute bottle, but it's so impractical. I don't want to bother opening it right now. Well, but it's too late, Maria, you started. It's just gonna fall over. Just go back in there. You all have seen it. If you haven't seen it, eh. I, I made a video where I unboxed it. Um, Monarca Cenote. I think this is my only ink from Mexico. It comes with this little stand which has little grippy things here so the ink bottle won't fall over and a little space to put a pen or your pinky if you're feeling awkward. Um, love it. Organics Studio Nitrogen. Wearing Gold Wayfarer. This is gorgeous. The one that, okay, we're gonna try. Aurora und Klingner Alt Goldgrün. Apologies to my German speaking friends. I did, I did try. Van Ness Originals Hissy Fit. Love this. And the ink that I bought for the bottle, Ackerman's Poultry Pink. I love this bottle. It's, it's too fun. I don't love the ink. I mean, it's not bad or anything. It's just not my favorite shade of pink. I like a cooler pink. Now, those are all the ink brands for to have only one ink. I would love, go ahead, guess, if you know which brand of inks I have the most of. From? Two. Next up, we have Pelican. So I have two in their Edelstein, or Edelstein collection. I have Aquamarine. Which is my birthstone. So I had to. I also really love the color. It's coming across darker and bluer. Well, I'm trying, okay? And this one I've honestly, I bought to look at. Because, like, if you just shake this bottle and, like, look at the ink, it's beautiful. So what I need to do is keep it on my desk and just look at it. I mean, it's a great ink too. Very legible. Perfect for festive things, like birthdays or something, I don't know. I act like I have festive things. There, threw that away. Then we have Venta. So I have, I wrote it down as violets are blue, but the box actually has a different name on it. Harana. And then this one also, Tabuan, Purple Sea Star. This was the San Francisco Pen Show ink. I bought an extra bottle to give samples to people. So if you need a sample, hit me up. Might be able to accommodate. Um, to move you. We're, we're getting full over here. Then we have Pure Pens. So this is a Welsh company. Bought these when I was visiting the UK. I did not manage to get them from their shop directly in Wales because I was not in Cardiff. I was up in um, uh, the northern part. Or Snowdonia. So we have Porth Kerno Cove and Platinum Purple. This was the special ink for the Queen uh, for her ju Platinum Jubilee. Let's 
a pretty lovely ink. Then, Pannonia. I love that these two inks are opposites. <laughs> a really bright light pink whose box is torn and I'm frustrated and angry. It did it. It finally happened. You know what happens? It doesn't have a box. This ink doesn't have a box. <laughs> I love that like layer of goo down there. Strigoi is a really interesting ink. I don't know if that reddish orangey rust color comes through, but I like it. I like these bottles too. Nice to grab a hold of. And not inks, but I do have three of Pannonia's um, glitter stuff, shimmer additive. One in blue, beige, and white. Beige, I would argue, is like a champagne color, in case you're wondering. Then, on to the ink brands for which I have three of their inks. So here we have Dominant Industry, Dawn, Dusk, and Midnight. Dawn and Dusk are absolutely cult pins exclusives, and I now no longer remember if Midnight was. Sorry. Gorgeous inks. All with shimmer. I'm so irritated by getting blue about getting blue on there, but lovely. <sighs> Can't play favorites, but if I was going to we have pilot. Hiroshizuku, I have Tsutsuji, Yamabudo, and Tsukiyo. This one is like wild grapes. How could I not? I love wine so much. I basically have to get the wild grapes ink. Also, these bottles are so gorgeous. So gorgeous. When I bought this, this was an investment for me. This was a lot of income, so to speak, to be putting towards ink. And I have never regretted it. It's so, the, the ink is oh, it's amazing. Um, I do feel like this swatch doesn't do it justice because this was back when I was doing it with a Q-tip and cotton swab. Anyway. This is possibly, if I could only use one ink brand, it might be this one, but I'm not, y'all, I'm not going to limit myself. Then we have Lamy. So, turquoise. This was one of my first bottles of ink that I bought. Um, and then I got Lamy blue for free when I bought a pen for a friend, but the ink wouldn't fit in the package that I sent to the friend. So mine now. And I have Vibrant Pink, which I got when I bought my Vibrant Pink All-Star. Then we have over here KWZ. The Countess says Caveze, but I am not her. I'm going to point out these two colors are not identical, okay? They're not. So I have gummy berry, grapefruit, and turquoise. All fantastic, all smelling. Of, van of vanilla, 
Mm, this one still smells a little bit like vanilla on the card. This one does not at all. So the smell fades, sadly. And into a uh, another small ink brand, we have Kiwi Ink. So, Trey Calori Gold Sheen Violet. I opted to get this without um, shimmer. There's not really Trey Calori. Uh, Glamorous Peacock and Nebula Space Kitty. I don't even like cats that much. I mean, I like cats just fine, but I'm not like a cat person, but you kind of have to, right? Um, I have like three inks that are kind of this color. Don't tell. Now, about to get into the brand that launched a thing. Airball. So this is kind of a different like brand brand, but it's the same brand. So this is Cacao do Brasil. Oh, by the way, apologies for pronunciation. And we have Amethyst de Lural and Kenit du Nepal. And the ink, I just re-swatched it because I wasn't liking how the original swatch looked. Look at original, new. Better, right? I'm really glad I did it. Although you can't see the base color as much in this one as you can in this one. It's fine. Emerald of Shavor. So this is our old style bottle. The wax on the cap is all cracked. I love it sink so much. It looks more blue on the camera, I promise it's a teal. Um, right on. Then we have another one I have four from, and that is Sailor. So I have two ink studio inks and two state inks. Stand by my choices. 224 and 767. 224, I never know what color it is. I think of it as a blue, but it's kind of a gray. Is that a blue gray? Or is it a gray blue? Not sure. Then we have California and Michigan. I love Sailor California so much. Ugh. I kind of want to buy another bottle, even though mine is almost full. I'm not going to let myself. There will be other inks like this. Edelstein Aquamarine is not too far off. Uh, Michigan is lovely and, for the record, <laughs> quite similar to KWZ Turquoise. <laughs> so. Can we see turquoise is a far more economical way to get that color. But if you have a friend that lives in Michigan, then we have Birmingham pins. Are they all gonna fit all zoomed in like this? We made them fit. So my first two from them were Eroded Bronze and California Raisin. I had to. It's California. We just saw. I love Sailor California, California Raisin. Yes. Also, it's beautiful. Eroded Bronze is a lovely, again, blue, gray, one of the two. Maybe both. Uh, ice Rink is so bright. Um, I hit, was hoping that it was going to be a like replacement for another Holy Cow That's a Blue. Uh, ink. It's not identical, but it's it's dope. Uh, and then we have Galactic Twinkle and Cranberry Twinkle. Cranberry Twinkle is too twinkly for me, so I might next time I use it try and not pull up 
uh, not shake it up first, there's still so much shimmer that it will be full of shimmer anyway. Those are here. You can see their boxes aren't labeled, so I have actually labeled them and put swatches on them. I dig that their boxes aren't labeled because I think that lets them probably save on packaging because they don't have to like have one box per color. They can just use any box. And I am down with that. Now another brand that I have five of. My stack of inks is falling over. I usually keep these in colors or color order everyone, so I'm gonna have to like redo these. <laughs> Not too excited about. So we have Polar Lights, Foxglove, Abalone, Petrichor, and Milky Ocean. I bought, this was my first trio, and I bought it for Milky Ocean. I was like, I need that color. And I actually think Abalone might be my favorite. I mean, it doesn't hurt that I wrote this card just perfectly. That's not true, but I wrote it well. Um, I love these. Polar Lights is a really great fun color it's I hesitate to call it black it's a super dark gray it's got a halo of rust and then a multi-color um, shimmer depending on the angle uh, I like their boxes too they used to have like over-the-top packaging and their packaging is still good. The little images there are so cute. Like, yeah. And then, they're falling over. How are you doing? Have you guessed right about which ink company I have the most inks from? Diamine is not the answer. So, we have the, um, I'm going to talk about this. So, when I started out, I was like, um, I had two other bottles of Diamine that I've given to a friend. So I used to have Amazing Amethyst and, uh, I don't know, Mystical Blue, something like that. Gave this to a friend because I wasn't reaching for them. Um, then I heard about Earl Grey. We know about, if you've watched my videos, you know I love this because I drink Earl Grey every morning. Now, y'all, my tea, my tea is not this color. This is horribly named. It's beautiful color though, and I'm kind of happy because I wouldn't actually like an ink the color of my tea. That's not my jam, but this is gorgeous. So I thought it was limited edition, and I bought a second bottle because at the time when I bought it, I was actually, I didn't have very many inks, so it seemed likely that I would run through it. That is less likely to me now. Nonetheless, Earl Grey. Then we have Aurora Borealis, also really poorly named. Um, this isn't, from what I've seen from photos, this is not the color you see in the sky. Polar Lights, great version of that color. This is teal. Writer's Blood. Writer's Blood is a really pretty purpley burgundy ink that is not the color of blood. So Reddit is horrible at either naming colors or choosing inks to correspond with a name. But they do pick nice colors. They just, you know, 
the names are poor. Uh, anyway, and then I actually, once upon a time, I was like, well, obviously I need to have a red ink. So I sampled a bunch and I landed upon Red Dragon as basically the best. If you want a red ink that is red and that is not some other color, I love it. It goes well with my nail polish. Um, <laughs> it, uh, I hardly ever use it, but it, because... It, we don't usually feel like red ink, but I have it, so that's important. Um, it's possible that Romania Red would replace this in my heart if I had it, but I don't need it. And then we have Moon Dust. I honestly don't use this very frequently. It's one of their um, shimmer inks. This swatch is really bad. Maybe I should redo it. Maybe I should draw more on there. And then my latest two acquisitions... No. Wait, oh. This isn't in the pile. You're just going to have to, like, imagine what this looks like. This is all the best. Can, do I have a stack of cards in here somewhere? I do. Hold on. I lied. Here it is. All the best was uh, day 25 for 2021 ink vent. And it has shimmer, but it's not in your face. It has sheen, but it's not in your face. Well, actually, it is in your face there. It's a great color. If you want to compare it to Rider's Blood, not too far off. And Mambado's hat. Basically, Amanda has made me a purple lover. Except for I did always like purple. It's just I've kind of become more of a connoisseur now. And to the ink company that I have the most bottles from. Look at this stack. Some of you know what it is already because you haven't seen their inks and you know I have some of them. Let's clear some space here and maybe zoom out. We're going to need the space. We'll start with there we go. There's the mountain. Colorverse! Here it is. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I kind of feel like one of these things is not like the other, and that is this one. So from Cali, it's like a special, hey, let's make States inks, but then they didn't have all of them as far as I could tell. Could be wrong. Importantly, I had to get California because we established that I am a sucker for things that are Californian. For the record, I am not Californian. I'm not from here. She ain't from here. Uh, then we have shiny black. Gorgeous. I watched a video um, today with uh, Lorelai and Simona talking. And Lorelai's like, Psh, I'm not going to buy a black ink. And I'm here to say, mm, this is worth considering because it might be black, but it is way more interesting. Same with Stragoi for the record, but this is so good. It writes so nicely, and it's shimmery, but not, like, obnoxiously so. And, ugh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And huge shout-out to the Countess for, like, almost forcing me. Let's be real. Then we have Witch by Starlight from Goulet. Um, this one, I feel like, it may not look it, but it and Midnight are really close to each other. So Dominant Industry, Midnight, and Witch by Starlight are pretty similar. I would argue that you probably only need one of them. But I'm not going to stop you if you want both. I didn't stop me. Um, then... Let's go. We have 
Opportunity and Spirit. It's from the Red Planet series. Look at this little. So cute. We have the inks that I bought pretty much for the name. Because I am a nerd. Schrodinger and Cat. I still think it would be funny if, like, maybe Cat wasn't in the box. Like, maybe some boxes Cat wasn't there. Or maybe some boxes Cat was one color and other boxes Cat was a different color. Right? Like... Come on, tell me that you think that's a great idea because it's totally a great idea, right? I mean, it's a marketing nightmare, but so many great ideas might be. Then we have Pillars of Creation and Mystic Mountain. I bought this for Pillars of Creation because, like, I was on this, like, I'm going to find a dupe for Dark Lilac. Ah! It's not. It's pretty great. It actually, like, look at it. This, for the record, if you wanted to call this, uh, like, Aurora Borealis, you'd hear less arguing from me. But it does look like Pillars of Creation. And Mystic Mountain, I'm not sure I'm convinced it looks. Okay, actually, they've convinced me. Look at it. Anyway, I love Mystic Mountain, and it's being released in a bigger sized bottle. So if you like Mystic Mountain, you can now get it separately. I bought it for Pillars of Creation. It, it won my heart for Mystic Mountain. And um, last up is the first box big box like this of Colorverse Ink that I got, which is KSLV2 or Korean Space Launch Vehicle 2 and 75 ton rocket engine. I actually have that one in a pin right now in my um, Pelican M605. Um, so that's the collection. Which again is obscene. How many tea leaf and blue colors does Maria need? At least some more than she has. Because I don't have all of them. This is actually a pretty uh, um, unique color in my collection. I can never decide if it's blue or purple. That one. Mm. My only yellow. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Golden barrel is my only yellow. Because, like, it's like, is it really yellow? I hope that you enjoyed seeing my ink bottle collection. If you are sitting here thinking right now, that girl does not need any more ink. I promise you, I promise you, I'm thinking that too. But equally, we all know. I'm gonna get more ink. Um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I would love to know if you have among these a favorite, if you also have one that you've been really eager to try but you haven't gotten your hands on yet, if you have one that you are like, how could she possibly own that? That's the worst ink ever. I want to hear that. Um, and I hope that as you're watching this, you are having a wonderful day. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye.